It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be reviewing the world famous Jeva Pilsner. One of the best Pilsners in the world. It's 4.9% ABV and it is brewed at Fresh's Brewhouse in Germany. Jeva in Germany. Really looking forward to this one. Uh, green glass bottle. Jeva bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass, see what we get. I can do a better job with the Java bottle cap. I just need to make sure my face is not in there. There you go. Camera likes to focus on my face and they, yeah. Let's get on with the beer review. I have reviewed this before on Keg, up in Leeds. Back in 2012, 11 years ago. So I thought to myself, well, let's do the bottle version. I think I reviewed it in North Bar in Leeds back in 2012. Um, people were raving about it. And I was like, oh, okay, let's let's do it. Let's do a review of, of Jeva Pills. Um, a simple, honest pills, but Fantastic. It was really good at the time. The one thing, and I'm not afraid to say it, the one thing that slightly concerns me is the green glass bottle. But we'll see. We'll see what it's like in bottle. They must be very confident putting this world-class Pilsner in a, in a green glass bottle. So we're just going to Give it the benefit of the doubt, I suppose. So we've got a two-finger white head, slow-moving carbonation, slight bit of haze in there. A light, very light amber-coloured beer. Bits of sediment floating around in the glass as well. Be interested to get the rest of the beer in the glass once this head dissipates a little bit. But let's get the aroma. This is where you'll probably get the first indication of any skunk, if there is any. There's the slightest amount. The slightest amount of skunkiness, but, but, it actually suits the beer. You get lots of light crisp malt, a spiciness, a pepperiness, and it's such a small aroma, this, this, this skunkiness, that it actually acts as a as a little bit of a of something extra in the beer. Normally, can't stand it, but it's a tiny amount of it. Let's dive in. Cheers. We'll discuss the skunkiness in a bit. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, we'll get to that in a moment. It's a quite brilliant Pilsner, quite brilliant Pilsner. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what a beer. The slightest, the slightest kind of skunkiness coming through. It's quite, really quite a bitter beer. Got a kind of a real bitter twist to it. This peppery and spicy. It is lovely. Very, very drinkable. Very refreshing. Light crisp malts coming through. A little bit citrusy. Ah, oh, superb. That is world class. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, probably preferred it on keg, in a bar, in Leeds where I had it. Keg beer is just supreme. Absolutely supreme stuff. You cannot beat it. And also, that tiny little bit of skunkiness is there. 
in this beer, in this green glass bottle, is not in the keg. So if you've been waiting five minutes for me to talk about the skunkiness, then here we go. And to my regular viewers who know what I'm talking about, I apologise, but I'm going to be really quick with it. So, um, hops suffer from light strike. If you were to leave a hoppy beer, if you were to leave this sun, a glass of beer in the sun, in a beer garden for say half an hour to an hour, it would be a, a different beer from the beer that you ordered from the bar. And I'm not talking about it warming up, and I'm not talking about it going flat. It's a chemical reaction, the hops um, get affected by the UV light that comes from the sun, hits the hops, instead of having the hops floral, juicy, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of maybe lime, you know, all your beautiful hop flavours, the chemical reaction from the UV light turns it from being lovely and lemony and maybe orangey and whatever beer you're drinking into something that might have come out the back of a skunk's backside. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a chemical uh, reaction, it's just an unfortunate thing with hops. So to prevent that, brewers either put beer these days in a can, no light's going to get through into that can, <coughs> pitch black in there, or, here we are, or they put their beer in dark brown glass. Dark brown glass does the same thing, it doesn't let the UV light into the bottle because it affects not just beer from the sunlight but beer in supermarkets. The UV light off the supermarket shelves hits, hits a, a green glass bottle or a clear glass. Clear glass is the worst and it naturally, unfortunately, skunks the beer. So that was a very, very quick speech about um, beer, beer skunking in, in green glass bottle. Some of you might have seen my recent um, oh, the Aldi beer, the Rheinbacher pills. It went into a green glass bottle, and it was terrible. It was undrinkable. And then they went and discontinued it. So that was a recent video of ours. Nowhere near as bad. Nowhere near as bad in this in this bottle. It is definitely there a little bit in the aroma, a little bit skunky and a little bit skunky in the taste. But it's not enough for me to want to chuck the beer in the sink. If a beer is overly skunk for me, I won't even entertain it. I will not even entertain it. I'll, I'll, I'll pour, oh, I can't drink that, down the sink. Slow moving carbonation, really tasty beer. Totally enjoyed it. It's all in German, so I'm not even gonna try and entertain um, reading the back of the label. Maybe some of my lovely German friends who are watching can pause the video and give me the description from the back of the label. But that really is Fresh House, freshest brew house, Jeva Pilsner, 4.9% ABV. Absolutely terrific beer. Totally worthy of the fantastic reputation that this beer holds. I like that beer enough. Keg, I can't remember what I gave it. Now I reckon I, I reckon I absolutely loved it. I remember the beer being really crisp and lovely. Keg was probably, I don't know, was it a 9 out of 10? Some of you may want to go and have a look. Uh, 9 out of 10. This, I'm going to say 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for the bottled version. Hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.